So, what are you two gonna do now that you're home? Well, I'm gonna take a couple of pre-med classes and move back to campus so I can be close to the library and study groups and all that. Well, diving back in, you gotta love that. And she is going to write a letter to the department head to get credit for all of the work that she was doing out at the clinic. That's great. And once they approve it, I'll be getting three credits, which is awesome. So, Bay, what are you gonna do? Same thing as Beijing. I'm gonna get a job at a tattoo parlor. I can see you biting your tongue, and I appreciate that. Honey, we support you as long as it's legal and you're passionate about it. That's good. Um, because my other plan is to find a place to live with Travis. Excuse me? John, where did you think Travis was sleeping these past eight months? I never thought about it, and I don't intend to. But now that she's home, she won't be living with someone that she's not married to. You do know it's 2016, right? Yeah, and here's another number, 20, as in I am. But you might need an adult to co-sign a lease, so I think you might need another plan. Hello, Regina. Oh, um, uh, <laughs> don't pull me into this one. Wait, what about the apartment above the cracked mug? Isn't that empty? Well, yeah, but... I totally forgot about that. Can we have it? Uh, um, I'm not gonna do anything to go against your parents' wishes. Thank you, Regina. Since when? Actually, I'm fine with it, so that makes two parents against one. Catherine. What? You and I spent time together when you were on the road when we were their age, and Toby is living in England with his girlfriend and baby, so... That's different. How? Ah, oh, moms, you guys are the best. Mm. Garlic bread, anyone?